if you qualify for any of these five types of people, don't trade. You have zero passion for the financial markets, right? Then, what is the only reason you want to pursue this? The only reason is because of the money and that's it. And if you just pursue something just for the money, do you think you are going to last long? I studied finance in university, right? There were a couple of classmates. In the freshman year, I'll ask them, why did you join this course? Some of them say, because my parents feel that this is a good career because it pays well. Guess what? These people, they end up being super miserable. Like, they might earn a good salary and all that, but then, at the end of the day, they become super miserable and then they go on to change to a completely different career. Just don't pursue this for the money. There are other ways to go around it. You can follow other people's signal, just don't do it yourself, okay? The second type of people, these are quite common. You have zero patience and your work ethic is just like... You know the successful traders that I know, they all have one thing in common. They just work super hard, like even after they become like a speaker in a conference and all that, become a so-called guru, they are still like learning non-stop. They just don't stop. They are just researching the markets every single day. They never stop. They work hard to hone their skills. And then there are people after three months of learning how to trade. Karen, how come I'm not earning money yet? How long did you spend? Um, just three months? which is a long, long time. You deserve to have millions of dollars after three months of hard work. Yes, you deserve it. When the real professionals, they take three years. By the way, I used to be like that. Like, the world owes me everything. Like, mom and dad will take care of me till shit happens in my life then. The third type of people is those people who just feel entitled all the time. Like, strawberry generation, my generation. Okay, not everybody, but some people, some people. I don't want to get cancelled. I want to be spoon-fed. I want to be straw fed I want you to serve me because you are my slave. I have many mentors in the past, right? Some of them, I don't need to pay them because they are just nice people. Of course, some people, I need to pay. And they are still nice people, okay? A lot of my mentors, they told me, Karen, I cannot believe that I offered free mentoring counseling okay not counseling coaching to all these people and they just waste my time just waste my time i cannot believe that only you took action all the 90 percent of people i have mentored this is too hard you did not even feed me enough you did not take care of me you did not help dude it's free the whole entire time my thinking is just this this very successful gentleman is so busy and he took time out two hours one hour to mentor me i gotta make sure that I work damn hard and make him proud so that his time is worth it because nobody else believe in me except for him every single week in my inbox karen can you donate me hundred dollar five hundred dollar i've received twenty thousand dollar requests you have given me so many courses those are okay, but I feel that you owe me more things, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if I say no to these people, sometimes they'll curse at me. Oh my god, I didn't know that, you're so rude. Are you really like that? I'm so disappointed. I thought you were nice. Well, then you don't know me well enough because I am not nice to idiots. Do you know what I do to my mentors? I buy them stuff, I buy them coffee, I buy them presents almost every single year. They tell me to do one thing, I go out there and do 10 things. I take full responsibility for my own learning. If I fail, it is my problem. It is because of me, not because of my mentor, because he didn't spoon feed me well enough. Number four, if you have a low risk appetite. Don't go into trading. Maybe go into safer asset classes like index funds. Those are good. Vanguard index funds. ETFs, 
bonds okay bonds the returns are a bit too low after you take into account inflation then some blue chip stocks so these are very conservative portfolio you don't have to become a trader just because everybody is becoming a trader just try to find out what is your risk appetite very important is it low moderate or high go and take a test or something personality test find that out number five if you prefer stability regular paycheck you like certainty you like to have a stable income every month and at the same time you like being told what to do in other words you like routine you like rules then maybe being an employee is something that you should stick with don't go into trading if you still want to get involved in trading then do it indirectly like hand that funds to a proper financial advisor or account manager or whatever just don't do it yourself to play simply if you are lazy and tight up and feel that the world owes you something go back to your job i am serious about that if you want to learn trading properly i've done some courses if you haven't checked it out it's over here so with that talk to you in the next video bye